KOTC stands for King Edit Couch. It was started by Rod for Madden, actually started in the basement of American Legion. Uh, now he's been doing it for 10 years and it's grown to a huge event into the ballroom. Uh, we have multiple different communities. We have shooters, we have Pokemon, we have fighters, we have Madden, and we have NBA. Basically, it's a monthly tournament held in a pretty big venue, Morristown here, Jersey City there. Uh, where we get the best and the brightest of all current hardcore games, fighting games, shooting games, Pokemon games, or even starting to branch out to the more casual, like Minecraft and card games and whatnot. We bring them all together and we see who's the best at the end of the day. Well, KOTC is different because we have so many different communities. If you go to a tournament, usually you're only going to play one type of game, either it be all Fighters or all Gears of War or all Call of Duty. With KOTC, you get all that in one room. So it's able for people to walk around, mingle with other people from different communities, sit and watch other games. And if they do play other games, then they can play their favorite fighting games and also any other shooters or sports games that they like. It's consistent. It's a consistent tournament. These other tournaments, they have them once every four months, six months, this and that. We have a tournament every either once, once a month or once every two months, and we'll have like a bigger event. So people know once a month that they can come play and train and practice. It gives the kids reason to play the game besides just playing with their friends for fun. A little more competitive nature, which I think is good for kids younger and even my age. Like I'm 22, it's, it's great to get that competitive nature out in a, in a safe and good environment. And the thing that makes us different from other stuff that happens in New York all the time or other things that happen around New Jersey a lot is that this is grassroots up. It's nothing where the big top wigs come in and do it because they're already big. They don't need to get any bigger. This is something from the ground up. It's like I said, I'm coming from NJIT, a college, no more than 30 members in our club any given night, and here we are hosting an event with 500 people. He likes to see people come up from the community and come up stronger so that they can become the IFC Ipses or the FNEX groups or the Justin Wongs or the Tom's T-Square Taylors and the Minecraft and the Starcraft players or whatever, they're already big. He wants to give us a chance. So over here, you see people who don't have the avenue all the time to go and, you know, go on stream, go on the cameras and make a big name for themselves. So when they have the chance, they make it and they make it big. And I think that's what he likes. These tournaments definitely um, get other companies to sponsor them. Like we also had uh, Epic Games, which is the creator of Gears of War 3. We had them put our tournament on their fan page, like on right on their page to draw more people out. And we definitely get like tons of like local teams. Every single tournament I've hosted, I've, I've seen a new team that I've never seen of four new players because, and they ask them how they found out, they say MySpace, Facebook, Epic Games, etc. And we draw more and more teams. Today, we had uh, 28 teams for doubles. 14 teams for 4v4. It's a pretty good turnout for a small for a game that's pretty much dying and not many people want to play anymore. But it's amazing. You get to see how, you know, not just you in your living room every once in a while at night playing video games. You get to see the spectrum of everybody. You what you look like when you were a kid when you got to compete and you threw on your first uh, god card and you beat somebody and you get to see the kids cheering. It brings a smile to your eye. And then when you turn around and you see somebody yelling, oh my gosh, I just got you in an impossible scope. You like that too, because you could understand that as you're going older. And because we have all young and old age brackets, we can see how they ascend, kind of like, you know, when you're a kid, ha ha ha, I won. And when you're an adult, ha ha ha, I won. But you get to see all of that around here. It's good. I play Gears of War 3 competitively, and I've always played that. But I also play Street Fighter and Marvel and Mortal Kombat and other games like that. And I definitely, like, I went to a couple locals from Marvel vs. Capcom. So I actually played today. I went two and two. I played Street Fighter. I went. To, I think two and two. So like it's it's definitely fun to, to see them play against us, and then they see me play against them, and they, they you know I'll either beat them or they'll beat me, and then they'll come watch me play my game, and then so it's like a, a sign of respect for both. You know, like I lost to a really good player today, and then I gotta go watch him play against the other great players in that game. You know, and then he came and watched me play. So it's like a, a whole bonding of kind of thing. Well, we're always looking at new communities. Like last event in July, we tried Minecraft. Uh, so we're always trying to add new games, think of new things, new innovative ways to, for people to come out and play games. Me personally, my games are fighting games, so the way I'm looking to run KUTC, I want to run our own soul fighting games. I want KUTC to have their own majors, and hopefully we can get there and have a road to EVO.